Hey now, it looks like the weather's going to cooperate for the next couple of weeks. It'll be cold enough so I can do one more run of loggers. And I'm going to take advantage of a Mexican lager yeast cake that I have going on, uh, transferring the beer off of those yeast cakes today. And then going, I'm going to be brewing 10 gallons of an international amber lager. So I'm looking for something that's really a, a pretty simple recipe, uh, a little toasty, just a little bit of hop character going on, easy drinking for the spring. So the base of this beer is going to be 70% six row barley, and that's because I'm going with 15% of these corn flakes, which I don't need to mill, I'm just going to set them aside for now. I'm also going with 15% of Cara Munich 3 and 10% Simpsons Amber Malt. So that should give it like some biscuitiness. There might be just like a little hint of sweetness possibly from that corn and from the Cara Munich, and that'll get, like give it that malty sweetness as well. So anyway, it is time to fire up the mill. So the Monster Mill 3mm Pro here is going to make short work of milling this grain and we'll be ready to mash in. Okay, so ready to mash in here. I took those cornflakes and I just kind of mixed them into the rest of that milled malt. And that just made it really easy to, to mix in. So I had this all all mixed up here and we've got our mash temp of 64.4 celsius or 148 fahrenheit going to let it sit here for 45 minutes and then i'm going to step up uh, a little bit just i'm trying to get this as attenuable as possible and after 45 minutes i'm just going to jump this up to 67.7 celsius or 154 fahrenheit and give it another 45. So after 45 minutes, I took this up to mash out temperature of 75 Celsius, let it sit there for 15 minutes, and then fly sparged off into the boil kettle here, and I am just about to grab the first word hops. So for this, I'm using Pacific Gem Hops, because I think that kind of oaky, blackberry kind of flavor and aroma that they can offer will be interesting. And I'm doing this as a first word hop just to offer a little bit of that hop flavor. 22 grams of this uh, at 12% alpha acid isn't a whole ton um, of uh, flavor contribution, but it should be just a little, a little subtle character. So let's get ready to flame on here. Woo, there we go. Oh, we're getting real close to a boil here. It's trying to burst through those hops. And there we go, beautiful little boil going on here. So I'm going to give it a 60 minute boil and we'll be adding the next hops at 15 minutes remaining. Well, like I said, I'm going to be pitching this wort onto this yeast cake. So I've got actually three carboys of this uh, escarpment Mexican lager yeast strain. I'm going to be using two of them for this international amber lager. So I'm just transferring them off and then I'll be ready to, uh, to add the, the freshly chilled wort onto it. So with 15 minutes remaining in the boil, I'm going to add 14 grams of Tetnanger hops and that's just going to add just a little possible light spiciness to this beer. And um, now this will ramp up my IBUs to a total of 18 for the brew. And with 10 minutes left, I'm just going to add some super moss that I mixed into a little bit of wort just to help get this nice and clear as a finished product. Now I just flamed out and I'm adding here 42 grams and it's a 50-50 split of the Pacific Gem and the Tetnanger. Now I'm just going to have to grab my glove here and whirlpool this for about 30 seconds, lit it up and then let it, uh, let it wait for about 15 minutes. And here we go, running off. The wort into the carboys. I already have carboy number one done and roused up there. Just give it a really good shake, trying to kick up that yeast into suspension. Now I'm going to get the uh, the temperature controller and probe and everything all set up. And there we go, all hooked up. These came off at 49 Fahrenheit through the plate chiller, which is always a little tricky when you're trying to gauge what temperature you want it to come out at. But yeah, that's perfect. I'm going to start fermentation off at 53 Fahrenheit. And home from work the next day, we are happily fermenting away here, which is uh, 
Fantastic and exciting. So the forced attenuation test came in at 1013, which is awesome. Uh, so it, as long as we match that, it should have a decent amount of body. And it is uh, just a little bit under the top end of the style, which is 1014 for a finishing gravity. So I guess we'll see what the finished product comes out like. Well, and our finishing gravity on the beer itself has come out at 1013. So that matches the forced attenuation test. That is fantastic. So after hitting terminal gravity at a higher temperature and then chilling it down to about 50 degrees Fahrenheit for a week, I am now pressure transferring off into a couple of corny kegs. Well, it's the moment I have been waiting for. It is time to try out the Amber Lager. Let's do it. Look at that. Beautiful. Look how clear that beer is. I love like a dark amber colored beer that's just crystal clear. You can see right through it. Hello. Right? Gorgeous. Uh, the head died down a little bit there while I was like playing with it and what have you uh, right after pouring. However, let's give it a taste here. This, this is a delight. Um, we've got the, the, some definite toastiness coming because of those the, the amber malt that's in there, that 10% of that amber malt, so a lot of rich toastiness. Um, a, a little bit of kind of like caramelly flavors coming out of that, that uh, caramel that was in there. And, but, but really light at the same time. And I think the, the six row definitely helps with that. And sort of that lower, lower finishing gravity. This is just a gorgeous beer. I can't get over the color. A um, little bit of the uh, Pacific Gem is coming through and maybe just like the barest hint of spiciness from, from the Tetnanger, but that uh, there's this like very light, almost oaken kind of blackberry-ish thing, which is what the descriptors are for the hops. So fortunately they came through and I think the first word hop was a, was a great play there with that. It mainly smells like uh, the toasty malt, but that was uh, sort of to be expected. This is gr <laughs> super nice. I, I can see drinking this on cold weather in super hot weather, which it is today. So I'm gonna pour another couple of these and uh, take them outside and enjoy them in the sunshine. So great success. Try it if you have a chance. And until next time, keep it at 11.